Hi guys, I'm here today to give myself a full-on drag makeover. I've never attempted to do drag makeup before, so this is gonna be a fun experience for me. I'm really, really excited to try this out for the first time. I just wanna let my inner drag queen out, finally. I'm just excited to see if I can pull off a drag makeup look and if I can even do one, because my makeup skills may not be the best, but you know, I will try my best. So yeah, please enjoy. All right, so what I'm gonna start off with is gluing down my brows. I've attempted this once before and it kind of worked. I don't know, I'm just really really excited to see if I can do it better this time and if not I'm just gonna have real chunky ass brows, you know. What more could you want? So I want to start off by brushing them up as best as I can because my brows are kind of shit. <laughs> I mean I don't have a lot of brow luckily. My hair in general is pretty thin so I think I should be able to cover this up way well. Is it me or does my brow kind of look like a like a bird? <laughs> it just wants to fly away. Right, let's try this. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's looking great. <laughs> I love this part because it makes you look absolutely stupid. Oh god, this looks. <laughs> I look like a like a badly drawn Disney villain, you know? Oh man, this is gonna be bad. I'm gonna wait for that to dry so I can put on another layer because apparently that's how it works. I don't know. I really hope this turns out better than this. <laughs> I mean, that's a look. I would go out like that, you know? You know, like wavy brows used to be a thing? This should be a thing. Ooh, yas, bitch. Oh my God. This is stupid. Oh my God, yas. <laughs> oh, yas, queen. I hope it looks as great on camera as it does in real life because this is art, people. And this is just the first step, okay? I'm excited to see where this is gonna go. Ew, it looks so chunky. I wonder who the first person was that had the idea to glue down eyebrows. Like, what has to happen to be like, you know what, I'm gonna take my glue and I'm gonna put it in my eyebrow because why not? I wonder, I wonder how that happens. I hope I'm doing this right. Can you use too much glue? Is that a thing? I feel like I really use too much glue because it's like drying very like, I mean, I can't still move them, but it's it feels really stiff. This feels like a bird's nest on my face. Oh, there's a hair sticking out. <gasps> I have to cover that up right now. Uh-uh-uh, you ain't gonna ruin my brow, bitch. You are gonna lie down flat. Oh, no, no, girl. You are gonna go down, bitch. I'm talking to my brows. What is happening to me? I'm going insane. is quieting. <laughs> Kidding. I know I can't sing. I'm really sorry. You had to listen to that. All right. So I think they're kind of dry. I mean, it's glue. Glue is going to be sticky no matter what I do. Oh my God. That just rhymed. I'm a genius. All right. So next step is apparently setting that with a lot, a lot of powder and that powder is going to go everywhere. So be prepared. Apparently I have to press it in really hard. I think this is supposed to look bad. And if it's not, then... Well, we know he's never gonna be a drag queen, so I'm gonna brush off the excess. I have this like giant rim of like glue. This is normal, probably not. All right, so next up, I'm gonna put on a bit of primer. I'm kidding, I'm not gonna do that. Primer is a myth, nobody needs that shit. What I'm actually gonna do is put on a bunch of foundation. I feel like I'm painting a house. I never wear this much foundation. I mean, I rarely wear foundation to begin with. I rather wear like BB creams. So this is not like something I would never do in my daily routine. This is a cake and I like it. The taste of this gross ass chapstick. I'm gonna be like a blank new paper, except that there's a shit ton of makeup on this blank piece of paper. I've seriously never had this much foundation on my face. Maybe in theater, which is like two years ago. But even then, I don't think I remember wearing this much foundation. I feel my pores dying with every second that I have this on my face. I should probably get my hair out of the way better, yeah. Now I can see all the gross parts of my face. Fantastic. I feel like I'm painting like onto a canvas, not a human face. I mean, who's human anyway nowadays? That's just boring. All right, so after foundation, I'm gonna conceal my brows a little. And by a little, I mean a lot. My brows are not gonna disappear because I did something wrong, apparently. Maybe the glue 
happening to me again i'm gonna set that with powder this brow is really shit but you know what i have an idea how we're gonna make this work anyway i'm just gonna have to work with a really really dark eyeshadow and conceal the fact that oh my god the glue is peeling off this didn't happen to me last time i don't know what's happening right now and i think i'm making it worse but you know what i don't care <laughs> this is really really bad uh you know what let's just ignore this part of my face and let's just move on so what i want to do now first before using a brighter concealer to highlight is i want to draw in my fake brows over these still existing caked over brows. Just ignore that my brows still exist and just, I don't know, imagine they're not there. I like I'm really arched. No, my brow pencil fell off. Literally, my brow pencil just quit. Can you believe it? First brow is kind of done. <laughs> Should I just stay like this and leave him like that? By the way, I have no like inspiration for the look I'm going for. I'm just kind of trying to do my own thing here. I was thinking of like doing someone else's look, but then I think I would just offend people. So I figure, you know what? I'm just gonna do my own shit. And if people don't like it, that's fine. But at least I won't offend any fans by ruining some amazing queen's already existing look. So yeah, if you're wondering why my brows look like chunky birds, well, that's just my personal preference, okay? Feel free to judge me for my really, really ugly brows. Cause you know what? This is just who I am. I mean, who am I kidding? They're not gonna be even no matter what I do. If my natural brows are not even, then how are like fake brows supposed to be even you know what i don't care i know that like this brow is like far higher than this one but you know what do i look like i care because i don't all right so now i'm gonna highlight slash conceal and i'm also gonna try and add a bit of like nose contour because my natural nose is crooked as hell Alright, so my camera just died. That was great. I hope you didn't miss anything. In case you did, this is where I am now. This is a new camera, by the way, so I'm struggling. I hope you didn't miss anything, and if you did, I'm gonna be really, really pissed. Unfortunately, you did miss a few things. First, I finished filling my concealer and got some in my eyebrow, which keeps bugging me for the rest of this video because my dumb ass didn't realize this flaw until I was done with filming. It makes me very, very angry, but hey, life is shit. Good luck with that. Secondly, I introduced a product that my best friend and sister had given to me as a birthday present, which was a Too Faced Unicorn Bronzer slash Highlighter, and I was just about to give it a quick review, but my review turned out to be a complete failure because my dumb ass doesn't give any proper information about the product whatsoever. You'll see what I mean. Anyway, let's continue with our makeup review. So this looks pretty cute. Mmm, it smells really good. Mmm, I like it. Thanks, sales for getting me this. I will be... I'm gonna try to contour my nose now, which I'm really, really bad at. Not gonna lie, I don't think I've ever really properly contoured my nose. Because why? Because my nose is shit, my nose is crooked and ugly, and I don't think anything can save it. But you know what? Maybe contour can. Maybe this is what I've always needed in my life, except for a nose job. And my camera just died again. That's great. I'm gonna buff out that contour now. I hope it looks better on camera than it does in real life. I don't know, this looks bad. This looks really, really bad. All right, next I'm gonna highlight real quick. I'm gonna make them cheekbones pop. Oh my God, I just look at my nose contour and it's looking like a hot mess. <laughs> this is why I don't contour my nose. Okay, maybe we can save this. We just gotta believe. So now I'm gonna go into the eyes. I'll turn that into my new crease, basically. Alright, now I'm gonna go in with eyeliner. I want to make sure that the eyeliner goes over my actual crease, because otherwise it will be an even bigger mess. You know, at first I was excited to do drag makeup, but now I'm getting really, really tired. Like, mad respect to all these drag queens. All right, now I wanna try and recreate this on the other side. I don't know if I'm doing this right. The pigment doesn't really stick, which I don't know if that's product or just the fact that there's a shit ton of glue on my brows. Anyway, I'm gonna go down underneath my eye. And now I'm gonna go in with a bit of a darker shade again. 
Now I was thinking, because I don't have lower fake lashes, I was thinking of drawing some on and I'm kind of scared to do it, but you know what? No risk, no fun. So I'm gonna try to draw on some fake lashes. All right, so this were the lower lashes I was planning on putting on and I'm kind of happy with it. All right, so next up, I'm gonna do my lips because we need to change these smoothies and make them look like not shit. I mean, I usually don't line my lips, which is why I don't really know how it works, but you know what? There's a lot of firsts in this video and I'm not mad at it. My eyes burn, which is a great sign. All right, so after that, I'm gonna go in with something else that my beautiful, beautiful sister gave me as a present, which is a Jeffree Star lipstick, lip ammunition. This is it. And I'm really, really excited to try it out because I haven't tried it out yet. So this is part two of makeup review. It smells like Christmas. Oh my God, I love it. It's really nicely pigmented. It smells delicious and it just does the job. I really, really suck at applying lipstick, so please just accept the fact that this looks like shit. This is a mess. All right, so we're gonna clean that up. The lipstick itself is really, really great. Same for the highlighter, by the way. I forgot to give it a proper review. I really love it, so thanks, sis, for both that. Anyway, after you got them lips, I'm gonna try and do lashes, which I'm not good at. These are the most dramatic lashes that I have, which I know for drag queen terms is like, nothing but i'm still gonna glue them on and let's see how we can make this work even better because this is already looking crazy <laughs> i'm gonna apply a bit of mascara first all right now i'm not very good at applying fake lashes actually i'm really really bad at it i think i've only made it work once and that was like my prom so i'm happy that that worked out but except for that i think most of the time fake lashes just don't work for me mostly it's my eye shape then it's like my incapability as a human being they've just never really worked for me i guess that kind of work. You can barely even see these lashes because they're like not big enough to go over my eyeliner. But you know what? We just gotta live with that because that's just how life is. All right, they're on. Or at least they're like holding on. All right, so I guess this is it. I guess I'm done. This feels so weird. And I'm really, really bummed about my eyebrows because they didn't really cover up entirely and I have glue up here. <laughs> it's really bad. Now, lastly, I'm gonna throw on a really cheap wig. It's the only wig that I have, so like it has to work. And yeah, let's see what this will turn into, this mess that's on my face. It doesn't look good at all. <laughs> Wig reveal in three, two, one. All right, so this is the finished look. I absolutely hate it. I look like a really, really cheap Dolly Parton impersonator. But you know what? That's just why I'm inside. So like, who cares? I really, really hope you enjoyed this video, even if there's really nothing spectacular about this demon that I just released from hell. But anyway, smash like if you like the video, smash dislike if you hated the video, and subscribe if you want to. And if you don't, that's fine. I really won't hold it against you. It's absolutely fine. So yeah, see you in the next video, which I hopefully won't look like a deranged psychopath. So I was just thinking, I completely forgot to give myself a drag name. You know, any beautiful drag queen needs a beautiful drag name. So if you have any suggestions for what my drag name should be, leave them in the comments below. I had an idea in mind, which was um, the Zachi Z, which is written like this and is like a pun for that's what she said. That's what she said. It's shit. But anyway, that was my idea for drag name. But if you have a better one, which you probably do, let me know. And yeah, see you in the next video. Bye. All right, so now this is the fun part. I want to see how long this will take me to take off. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> I'm so red.
So I think I got off most of it, so 6 minutes and 22 seconds. I mean, that's actually not that long for the skyscraper of makeup that was on my face. But yeah, now I gotta put on a shitload of, I don't know, cleansers. My pores feel clogged to the core. Not even sure if that was worth it, but I guess it was. I don't know. Okay, that was it. Bye.